Hi, today this video is about Inaklam filter. First, we talk about what is Inaklam. Inaklam is a um, microbial growth. Inoculation is the introduction of cultured microbes into the new cultured medium. Inoculum for industrial fermentation should be, it is in it is active. The microorganisms should be in active, healthy and responsive growth phase, free of contamination. So inoculum means it's very, very useful for the industrial fermentation. It should be active, healthy, responsive growth phase of microorganism, free of contamination. Inoculum built up the critical important stage in the fermentation process. It is a development of active logarithmic microbial culture for industry production level. So in our lab level we have to produce 3 ml uh, medium or 5 ml of 50 or 100 ml medium to multiply the microbes to grow the microorganisms. But in industry there is a fermenter will be a 10 liters or 20, 100 liters or 1000 liters uh, tank. They cannot be able to use this 0.5 ml of microbes or then 1 ml, 2 ml. So we hope to make it more active form and then micro, uh, inoculum will be transferred to the uh, fermenter tank for the production. So first preparation of inoculum. Blue full of culture cannot inoculate large quantities of production medium in a fermenter. Microbial cells or pores are required in high number. In fermentation tank, we need a large number of uh, cell plus pores. So, Microbes in the stock culture are transferred to the inoculum medium with increasing the volume at each step. So we have to uh, small scale to live step, we have to multiply the uh, microbial medium level for 100 ml, then uh, 1 liter, 5 liters, and it will be transferred to the uh, tank. At each, each step, microbes should grow in high number so that period of incubation is relatively short. Bacterial cells are supposed in stock culture are suspended in a serine diluted to initiate growth in a liquid inoculum medium. They also require heat shocking to induce germination of spores. Whenever some microorganism near heat shock, then we have to give heat shock. Inoculum media and incubation conditions possesses rabbit cell or spore growth without or with accumulation of negligible quantity of the product. So during the inoculation medium, it mostly produces microbes multiplication not the product. Sometimes some microorganisms are able to produce a few amount of the product. Example, uh, inoculum medium used in inoculum production of penicillin, it travels in, um, in penicillin production, the inoculum medium only produces uh, spores, not the formation of penicillin. So product. So some of the microorganisms may produce product in very uh, small amount uh, in addition to the growth. But mostly, there is a negligible quantity of product will be occurs during the inoculum uh, built up. Inoculum medium is usually balanced for rapid cell growth than the product formation. So inoculum built up means the inoculum medium to so usually used for the rapid multiplication of the microorganisms, not for the product formation. Uh, so the products we have such as a fermentation medium. Hence, they are less nutritious than the production media with low level of carbon source. Inoculum level introduced into the production tank ranges from 0.5 to 20 percentage. High levels are employed in the presence of growth inhibitors or poor energy recovery to cells. High level inoculum addition to the fermentation require inoculum strips to be sedimented or centrifuge or separated from the inoculum growth medium. So that high levels of cell does not cause excessive dilution of production medium. Unwanted period change carry over the unwanted nutrients or metabolic waste products. This is of the inoculum built up. So during this quality and reproductivity of the inoculum are critical factors in gaining high phase. So during in this inoculum built up, it is the quality and uh, uh, quantity. It's also important of uh, built up. Inoculum built up. Mainly generation of microbial cells must occur during inoculum production between the starting point of stock culture and terminating point. That is starting stock culture, you have to prepare it in a maybe in our crystal stock or then a, a small 3 ml uh, medium uh, stock we are uh, having. 
but it will be in terminating medium it turns it into a high amount of uh, medium with only more amount of microbes uh, during this uh, cellular multiplication microbes does not change physiologically or genetically so very it is very important uh, during this uh, um, built up uh, inorganic built up there will be no physiological change or genetic change uh, mutation is very rarely occur but uh, it is also very rare contamination in inorganic built up absorb by turbidity and forms sometimes where when you have to kind of uh, convert it from one uh, one medium to another one uh, it's, uh, during this change of some there may be contaminations may be occur that will be uh, removed by speed formers used uh, for controlling foam example the deformers are the oil mixed with octa decanal for penicillin fermentation microbes produce adaptive enzymes in response to the presence of substrate and uses the product for its energy and growth if substrate become less custard microbe degrades its output of adaptive enzyme industrial fermentation utilizes the activities of adaptive enzymes of the microbes so enzyme must be present in high quantity during the production Substrate should be induced during inoculum build-up, or else distinct lack of this absorbing production can happen. So, in the microbes, some table produces enzyme in the product section. So, when you have the presence of substrate, it will be converted into produce some enzymes for the energy and growth. If substrate is discarded in microorganisms, they will be reduces the enzyme production. So, enzyme must be present in the high quantity during production. Substrate should be induced during inoculum build-up. or yes distinct lack of the absorbed in the production tank so uh, in production tank there is only lack growth carbon source in inoculum medium becomes discarded before harvest of inocula this causes bacterial cells to settle from the medium so carbon source is very important uh, we have to uh, before the carbon is cast that is before the uh, complete uh, degradation of uh, carbon we have to um, change the inocula from the medium to the another one medium so otherwise if carbon is fully discarded in the medium the bacterial cells will be lead to death so the dead cells are not used for our inoculum build up so the cells can be trained from the bottom of the tank so the dead cells will be in the bottom of the tank okay, that's all about the inoculum build up next we see about scale of fermentation scale up means there is a small amount of in our lab to high levels this is called scale of fermentation so fermentation condition in flask or small fermenters in laboratory are employed on more large scale operation of large that is small scale flask to large level it is referred as a scale up differences in design efficiency equipment fermentation process of small and large scale occurs then incubation conditions with the large scale production tank is based on the information obtained from the smaller size tank so here uh, we are not here um, Uh, use medium or anything uh, immediately uh, at the large tank it will be affect our production and medium cost wise also this very um uh, yes thank you so first we have to do it in the uh, lab scale then we got converted into large scale so based on the design of the um fermenter tank and its condition incubation time condition medium ph everything should be analyzed in the Uh, lab itself the small scale itself then only we got converted into large scale so this is used to for study of scale of fermentation early mayer flask so we have already used in our lab the flask is the early mayer flask or conventional vessel for fermentation studies during secondary screening or laboratory process development this flask even when shaken or reciprocating or a rotatory mechanical shaker provide a poor estimate of fermentation potential for microbes and its medium because of relatively poor aeration characteristics associated with this vessel so this early mayer flask is not able to shake so we have to always uh, uh, present uh, place this early mayer flask with medium and microorgan in our club we are placed in the rotatory shaker for uh, agitation so there is one defect in the early mayer flask but it will be overcome by the another one flask is fuffle flask it is also similar to the yerlin flask but with a small cast bubbles so this is the bubbles just is a mixture uh, like our uh, mixy that mix mix so here that one bubbles will be present in the bottom it provide a better aeration but do not provide favorable aeration condition obtained in the fermentation tank 
So this will be provide aeration in the flask. So this is the buffer flask. Small laboratory fermenter with uh, 1 to 12 liter cells are more ideal for this study. Sir. So small, uh, first we have to study in the flask, then it is contained the fermenter. The fermenter sizes are uh, uh, small scale sizes, 1 to 12 liter size. Since the aeration and agitation conditions can be varied, overall fermentation conditions on these tanks more closely resemble those of a large production tank. So these uh, uh, small 1 to 12 liter uh, size fermenters are similar to the large scale production tanks. Uh, so the, all the all the action that is aeration, agitation, feeding, uh, uh, feeding in, feed up and then source, everything will be done in the this 12 liter size fermenter. This just a bit, um, approximately is converted into large tank. The small fermenter is referred as the production tank to the pilot plant. This tank allow fermentation studies on scale up in relation to the production tank condition without expense for media, labor, power input, etc. So we have to study before uh, doing the industrial uh, plant. Uh, we have said this by using the small pilot plant, uh, we have to uh, condition study the conditions of a production tank uh, and then make how much amount of media will be required that is the already we know that the carbon um, discussion will be when will be occur what the pH uh, so you know which pH they will produce a small amount of uh, uh, product will be occur or how much time they will take uh, for producing a good uh, uh, high quantity of um, uh, production industrial pro product uh, then power input all are studied in this pilot plant uh, Intermediate tanks between latter tank and the production tank are employed to gain information on fermentation before carried out in the production plant. So pilot plant, another one uh, intermediate tank also there and then only we have to proceed to the uh, industrial uh, large tank. So next is uh, previous is about scale up that is small to long. Next one is a score scale down fermentation. So we have done all scale up and then you have to uh, enter into the uh, fermentation uh, in a uh, industry, industrial tank. But here it's also we have some problem. Then we have to what we do? Then we have to cut down the process. So once again, large size to small size. That is called scale down process. It is opposite to the scale up process. It involves development of large scale process that need experiments in smaller scale. It's objective to carry out experiments on smaller bioreactors based on the data about how it responds in large format production fermenter. They are also used during operation of large industrial scale fermenters in troubleshooting or trying to optimize the industrial scale fermentation. This method is called fermentation monitoring experiment. So during this uh, um, large scale tank also sometimes the samples will be taken from the fermenter tank. So that is referred as a uh, fermenter monitoring experiment. Scale down involves medium design, medium sterilization, inoculation procedures, number of generation, Mixing and oxygen transfer rate also uh, studied in the scale up fermentation. So that's all about the scale up and scale down. So this is the reference I have prepared for this slide. Thank you.